Well, I sort of feel that um, I was born to be a drag queen. I was, as funny as it sounds, my first memories are of my cousins dressing up as a girl at about age three. So that was sort of the start of it and it sort of escalated from there. But I always loved anything that sparkled, anything that, you know, glittered or swirled out, anything that was sort of a bit theatrical or glamorous. So it sort of it was a natural progression for me to sort of make a living dressing up in women's clothes. All the thing to do is jump over the moon. They've closed everything real down like bombs and troughs and performance spaces. Well at first it was just fun, it was just a hobby and um, and I enjoyed all the things that went with it. I went all, I enjoyed sewing and I enjoyed makeup and hair and wigs and things like that so it was sort of, you know, it was easy for me to take that next step and do it as a performance, as a living. I think I'd sort of tend to lean towards more of the feminine side to drag. I'm not sort of clownish or over the top, um, but I can be and I think it's good to have a good balance. At first, you have to sort of settle into a character. So once you establish that character, then it becomes second nature. It becomes like, like Vanity Fair for me is, not only is it me, but it's another person entirely. You know, I become a different person when I'm dressed up and not because I mean to be, just because that's what happens. My wrists would be a bit limper, <laughs> my voice might be an octave higher, and I would not be allowing that camera that close. <laughs>